Welcome back. Today we're going to be playing a horror game, so stay tuned. Okay, so I've never played this before. I've been wanting to play it for a while, but I didn't really have a fantastic computer, so. Trigger bones to exit, visit the door you started at, you do use WASD. It's a psychological horror game by David S Yeah, I'm not pronouncing that. Press escape to toggle the screen. Press I to invert the mouse. What is this? I don't even know. Aha! It's my week- Oh, fuck. It's my weekend to get Katie, but I'm really not in the mood. I'm distracted with- I dist- I distracted her with the TV and came here to read. I couldn't interest myself in reading, so I tried to write. I couldn't write anything more than the usual handful of disconnected thoughts and theories. Medication didn't help, and divorce- I can't talk today. Certainly didn't help. Because I am not depressed. I am enlightened. This is a result of two decades of scientific education and philosophical pondering. This is the price of knowledge. Whoa. That's deep. This looks like a good game. Like, the graphics really are not that bad. I mean, like, they're... Like... HD low quality? Uh, I don't know. But the lighting is amazing. I've never played this. Um, I looked at the reviews and they said it was a really, like, good game. That it had, like, great reviews, a great storyline and everything. Alright, what's over here? What's this? Ah, flashlight. Oh, I hate flashlights. Because we all know what happens when you get a flashlight. It means you have to use it. I don't know why I'd use my daughter's name as a door lock code in the survival bunker, but whatever keeps her happy, I suppose. She likes her mother, a delicate, fragile version of her mother. Damn her. Oh, jeez. Okay, so her name's Katie, I believe, if I'm correct. Okay, yeah, Katie. Can I grab this knife? Nope, can't grab it. So, Katie, what's this? So, this kind of looks like Minecraft, if you ask me. What's that noise? It sounds like a lawnmower. If I click it again. Nope, nothing. Oh, what even is this thing? So, yeah, it's just like it's like producing paper or so. Oh, those webs are there, I think. I hope. Okay, wait, to exit the game, I click that door. I don't think I want to. So, the vault door? think this is this the fault door oh no that's exit so what's this okay so that made noise so i'm gonna take a wild guess that it's just locked what do we got over here whoa this is a gaming keyboard sweet okay hold on k a t i e or was it y i don't remember fuck okay let's let's look at the note he walks so slow yeah katie it appears to be a page from a manuscript. Pop morality is too reliant on emotions and not reliant enough on rational thought. If morality must be determined, and I maintain that it is a farce, it should not be determined by feeling. Feelings are nebulous, subjective, and changeable. Rather, it should be determined by thinking. The actions of a natural creature are natural and thus moral, unless a concrete scientific reason can give to prove them as immoral. So it's basically saying, if you kill someone, but it's a part of your natural instinct, it's moral to you, unless scientifically proven immoral. But, wow, that's deep, man. Uh, that's an example, I mean, obviously, I don't know. Um, like, we see a lion kill another animal, like a zebra or something, then that is immoral to us, but to them it's totally normal. I mean, we slaughter pigs, so. Okay, that made a buzz, but is there seriously no run key? Hold on. Set aside about a half, oh, a half an hour. Okay. Well, that's not so bad. I mean, this better be pretty, like, goddamn immersive. I mean, it's really deep right now. I mean, I'm not going to lie. This has, like, a lot of intellectual value to it, if you ask me. I think that it has some serious, like, philosophies going on, and I like it. I don't know. I'm into, like, philosophies and stuff like that. I think that stuff is cool. Um, that's probably why sometimes I get a little out of hand and then like things don't look so interesting in my videos. It's because I get like a little too into that. Oh, whoa! What the hell? You hear that? 
Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. It's going to scare the shit out of me, isn't it? Okay. Here we go. What's this note? It finally happened. The whole world is in chaos and thunder and screams. But when the ashes settle, we will be wild animals again. That's true. I am ecstatic beyond words. I haven't been able to reach Lynn for several days, and she's probably dead for all I know or care. But Katie was here when it started, and I have no idea what to do with her. The town is dead. Katie and I survived because we ran to the bunker. Perhaps this is what I needed. Freedom from all the irrational issues and insane social values. Just pure, beautiful survival. Okay, so I kind of feel like bad. I think Katie is here. Is she down there? Ah, oh, fuck, which way do I go? What if I go through here? Okay, I can't go there. Okay, so maybe there's like a key? Ah, another note. Eh, okay. The tool room has been her name for years now and I can't bring myself to change it. The tool room has been her name for years now? Is that like... This room? The tool room has been her name for years now. Aha! I boxed up everything that is that isn't practical and useful. I burned all the books that were in scientific ed edification. Is that actually a word? Hold on a second. Let me, let me look this up. Edification. Edification. The instruction or improvement of a person morally or intellectually. Oh, so... Okay, so it really is a word. I, I didn't think that was a thing. Okay, well that's that's really cool. That's even better. Okay, what is that? I thought I heard something. Okay, so I basically gotta fuck around with these boxes. The blood would ruin them anyways. That's not concerning. God damn it. Well, what what boxes? I gotta open some boxes, I guess? Okay. I mean, this seems like a uh, not even a psychological horror, more so like a pretty serious game. But I think that's the point in a psychological horror. What? Did you see the screen get fucked up, or was that just me? Oh, this isn't like one of those timed things. I just piled them, the blood would probably, okay. I, I'd like to store the boxes in the cellar, but I can't get them down the ladder myself. I just piled them near the hatch. Okay, so let's just go back upstairs and see. Uh, was that chair like that before, or? I don't know. Okay, I don't know what this is, but now it's like running and I can't stop it. I feel like I should have, I, ooh, would that have affected something downstairs prior to me? I don't know. Okay, maybe something over here. We missed this note. When I was 15 years old, I lost my- Oh, okay. I shook uncontrollably the entire time. I felt that same primal experience yesterday night in the cellar. What? Is it the same note? Okay, just making sure. Because if they change, is there a crouch button or- Nope, no crouch button. Okay, good. That's actually a good thing, because then we don't have to actually hide from anything. Which is always my main concern on video games. Harry Potter style? I'll enter the staircase. No. God damn it. Drag it open. Drag it open. Nope. Okay. Drag it open. Drag it open. Okay. Can I open any of these? Nope. <sighs> okay. God damn. Unfortunately, we can't complete it today. I know. I know. It sucks. I honestly just wanted to do part one to this because I have so many series going on right now. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm Ethan Fox. Deuces.